morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news. Now, Ricky, we kind of talked about it. I kind of talked a little bit on this a couple of weeks ago about Mary J. Blige. We all know Mary J. went through a turbulent divorce. Yes, and, she did. And, and it just wasn't a good look for her. But people are saying, Mary, girl, she made a statement. And people are like, girl, for real? Mary said this, honey, that she is no longer, Ricky, dating broke men. Now, what? she said, now, she appeared on the show in London, and she told the audience that the number one thing that she's looking for now, honey, is a man with money. She said, a man, he got to have money and something. And she said, honey, she said, well, he has to have more money than me. And that's for sure, she said, because I am not taking care of any more men and stuff. And, you know, because she had to take care of her husband, allegedly, um, um her ex-husband, Ken Do Isaac, for the last 20 years and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she said, nah, she's not doing it. But so Mary is going to, I think, Mary going to wind up being by herself. Or she's going to have to date European men. Because African-American men with money are not dating black women this year. Oh. So she's not going to get no black man. Oh, you are <laughs> wrong. But now, Gary. Wrong. Black men ain't dating black women with she, money. She got Africans. You talking about she, the one? Now, there are some black men that have money that have black wives. But you saying that people that just got money, they ain't looking for no black women. Show sure not, honey. Y'all know that. Oh, wow. Gary, that's not I necessarily agree. true. Well, I disagree, I too. It's well, different strokes for different folks. People like what they like, and so, that don't, that's not true. So how many of y'all two black women have a black man with money? Me? Your husband got a job, Porsche. I'm, I'm evil. I'm talking about a man with money. My husband? Rich. What, so they have to have a job in order to have money. <laughs> Uh, yeah, or either but, they sell but dope. But we're talking about rich, honey. Mary J is rich. I think, but the thing is, what Mary is saying is that she want, doesn't want to take care of someone again. She's did that. And getting this divorce, like the alimony, the amount of money she's had to pay out, she doesn't want to deal with that again. So I think she wants a man that can sustain himself that's not in her bag, which I understand. And that's all that really she matters. She something different. Yeah, but she ain't going to get no African-American man because he's not dating her. He's dating women of other that's races. That's not necessarily that's true. I'm telling you, why so many single black women with money can't get a man with money? Because he That's ain't dating. It has a lot more to do with the attitude than actually pockets. Yeah, it has you know, a lot more to do with their like, ego. Like young basketball players dating these Instagram models. Okay. Yeah, because that's what they want. They want young, dumb, and broke. Right. <laughs> Young. But it's a lot of successful black women out here and a lot of successful black men out here and uh, black people y'all need to meet. We say, oh, thank you. Now, black people meet the the club. Club. Well, There you go. Well, they they ain't at the club. They ain't at church. You got you to gotta go to the right places to they find them. They're at the grocery store. Okay. They're at the gas station, they Ricky. Not. They are not. They are. They in the you, most Ricky. weird places. I go to the grocery store and the gas station. Go to the they bank. Are not. Listen, they at the bank. When they not looking, God gonna send them to you. Well, hey. <laughs> God gonna drop them off. Yeah, that picture of a skeleton. I'm waiting. Oh, <laughs> nah. Okay. All right. I got you can't be as picky as you are, Standing Ricky. Standing here wondering. <laughs> okay, Ricky. Wondering, I mean, love is ready to go. Ricky, Bracky, you talking about you being picky. But you're not being picky. I mean, you know, you're right. Just, you better be picky. He is no, picky. He, he is too picky. We got to go, though, but picky. you are. We'll finish talking about this later because you know you picky. Yeah, okay, I got my girl, honey, baby, Miss Shanika on hey. the screen. Honey, Shanika, what's going on? She hey, girl. Fell. She fell out. Shanika. Good morning. Hello. Hey, Miss Shanika. Good morning. Good morning. There you go. There you go. What up, Shanika? Oh, look What's at that. Okay, so I got some word on the street this morning. Uh, Soldier Boy is going through some things, okay? Um, apparently, he's not with Black Tiny anymore. I don't know if you guys got that news, but we all knew it wasn't going to last that long, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, Gary is 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 just bad. So he tried to put Black China out and said he just wanted to see how things, you know, felt because a lot of people were getting a turn and he <gasps> wanted to, you know. Oh All no, right. he didn't. No. Yeah. No. So Black China made oh. a comment with everything that was going on and she called Soldier Boy very immature. She called him a thirsty clout chaser <laughs> who was begging to get with her. And she's uh -huh. glad their relationship is done. <laughs> she was very pissed off that he tried to put her on blast because he said he wanted to see what it what it felt like. But I heard that Black China has since then moved on as well. And, you know, I like Black China. She's cool, but I do agree with a lot of fans that she might need to let it breathe a little bit. Like, come on. <laughs> 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 yeah, like Black China held uh, um, 
No, don't do that. Black China can live her life like everybody else out here living their life. She needs to let it breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Down there. Come on. All right, y'all. That's the word on the street. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. All right, the color of the day is <laughs> flooded lungs. On the high end, you say flooded lungs, and on the low end, say black. And y'all let it breathe, honey. He <laughs> <laughs> said, let it breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Are uh, y'all giving up a game with the team? <laughs> Chicken and Waffle Mix coming up next. Ricky Smiley the Morning Show. The Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Let it breathe. Right now at CBS Pharmacy, you can earn up to 50 extra bucks yes, for each of your just fulfilling prescriptions.